So I had another question uh, from someone that wanted to know, how do we tell the difference between a viral and a bacterial infection? Well, it's really, really difficult because the symptoms are so similar. Unless you get a blood test to rule out a bacteria uh, infection, you're not going to really know. But here are the common symptoms between both of them. Fever, you get a cold, you have mucus, uh, muscle ache, sore throat. Uh, also realize that most respiratory infections are more viral, but they can be bacterial. And also you can have a combination between both of them together. So it's very, very confusing. If it's viral, it could last uh, seven to 10 days. If it's bacterial, it could last a little bit longer, about two weeks. Also realize that if it's a viral infection, antibiotics will not work. One of the problems that I see with a lot of people is that they run to the doctor every time they have a cold or an infection, they take an antibiotic. What's gonna happen, you're gonna develop antibiotic resistance over time and they're not gonna work eventually because every time you take them, you set yourself up for microbes growing stronger resistance against these antibiotics. And it also weakens your immune system, it uh, decreases the flora in your gut, creates secondary infection. Uh, so try not to do that very often. That's very important. Now, the two things that happen with infections, number one is the direct damage the pathogen causes on your body tissue, but also the collateral damage that your own body's immune system creates when it releases certain oxidants to kill off the microbes, okay? One thing that can protect you against that is putting your body in ketosis. When you increase ketones, you can decrease the damage from these oxidants that your own immune system is releasing. That's why it's going into ketosis is very, very beneficial uh, when you're getting sick. But because you may not really know if it's a bacterial or a viral thing, um, here's some remedies that I recommend. Uh, first one is olive leaf extract. This is really good for putting viruses back in remission, but it can also be good for bacteria. Okay, calcium. Calcium is really good to help the viruses go back in remission because realize that a virus is not really alive in the first place. It's a piece of uh, genetic material wrapped in a sack that can only invade uh, our tissues if our resistance is low, okay? If you're susceptible to getting that virus. So now let's just say you're in a plane and someone's coughing. You're gonna have certain people that may get sick, certain people that won't. It really depends on your resistance, your, your sleeping, your stress level, especially stress, your diet, your nutrients in your body. Um, so as long as you are fortified with nutrition, as long as you uh, have a low stress, the chances of you getting it are a lot less, okay? But the point is that calcium helps to put these viruses back in remission. I always recommend if you have small children, if they have a fever, uh, give them a little calcium. It seems to work really well. Also, you wanna increase your temperature. So climb in bed with a lot of covers and clothes on so you can sweat. That's gonna actually help. Uh, take a hot bath, hot shower to increase the temperature, which actually can help speed things up. Garlic, very good for bacteria and viral infections. Put garlic in everything. Eat the cloves, have pickled garlic, garlic and onion, really good to consume. And the last thing, the most important thing is the fasting. When you are sick, you lose your appetite usually, right? Well, that's because your body's telling you don't eat. So fasting can greatly speed up the time it takes to overcome these infections. So fast as long as you can, don't do snacking through the day, and you can actually really get through this a lot faster. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?